Hello and welcome to DIY Fidget Toys. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. Today we are going to be making some tops or tulip spinners. And these are super simple. All you're going to need is a piece of card stock, something to trace a circle with, a bamboo skewer or any other type of skewer you might have, some markers to decorate your spinner, and a hot glue gun to glue the wooden beads into place. Now we're going to begin by tracing a circle onto our card stock. And I'm just using a cup to do that. And as you could see by these two here, you can make your circle any size you like. I'm just going to be making a small one today. So we'll trace our circle just like this. And then you'll have that. And then we will go ahead and cut that out. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, you can cut two circles in the same size, and I'll show you why once we are done cutting this one out. Okay, so there's my first circle. And I already went ahead and cut out another circle here. And the reason I did that is so that we can find the center without messing with our first circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half. And then in half again. And the spot where those lines cross is where I'm going to poke a hole with my skewer. And you can ask an adult for help with this. Just do it carefully. And we'll go through there like that. And then we'll line up the fir or the second circle with the first circle, just like that. And we can mark where that circle goes or where the hole is going to go just like that. Once you've got that done, you can go ahead and poke a hole through the first circle, just like that. And you can po poke, poke your skewer through like that. And it's not gonna be perfect, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's one of the cool things about this project. Once you have your circle finished like that, you can grab some markers and decorate it any way you'd like. For these ones, I did flowers, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. On this one, I went a little too close to the circle, to the hole in the middle, so you can't quite tell they're flowers. This one, I left a little bit of room. So you can decorate it however you like. Awesome. Once you've got that done, you can plug your hot glue gun in and let it heat up. Because we're going to grab our wooden beads here. And there's different, I have different sizes. So for this one, I used a really big bead on the bottom and then smaller ones here. And I did the same on this. I used a big bead, a bigger bead, then a smaller bead and a bigger bead. But on this one, I left a little bit of the skewer showing and that actually made it easier to turn. 
So I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to you put my skewer through and I'm gonna grab a bigger bead and I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna wait for my glue. And while you do that, if you like, you can color your beads with markers. I'm not going to for this one though. Okay, so once your hot glue gun is ready to go, you can put a little bit into the center of the bead. You just want to be a little careful because it is hot. So if you need to ask an adult for help, that's okay. So a little bit of glue might poke out the bottom and that's okay, we can cut that off after. I'm also gonna put a little bit of glue around the top of the bead. And we're gonna push it down and that should hold the paper and the bead in place. And then we'll flip it over and grab our smaller bead and push that down and then another bead. I'm going with one that's the same size as on the bottom. So it looks like that. And again, I'm gonna take the hot glue gun and I'm just gonna put a little bit right around the top of this bead here. That'll help to keep it in place. Now, once that's dry, you can take a pair of scissors a little ways up from the bead to give yourself a little bit of a handle. And we're just going to kind of score. I'm gonna flip it around that way. And just kind of cut in a circle. And then you should be able to just break it off like that. And you'll have a leftover bit of skewer you can use to make another turner if you'd like. And once that's done, you should have your top.